In this video, I will show you how to prepare this CAT40 ML holder for importing into the SolidCam Components Toolkit. So first off, I'm going to create a coordinate system at the gauge point for mounting to the spindle. Uh, first thing I'm going to look for is the origin, see if it's at the gauge point, and it is. The other thing is the orientation of the coordinate system, the world coordinate system. Uh, the tool itself rotates around the z-axis. If the z-axis is the axis of rotation on this tool, we don't have to create one, but I'll show you how to create one anyway. I'm going to go up here to Features, Reference Geometry, Coordinate System. The origin is my uh, origin point, and then I want the z-axis to be normal to this back face here. That's the correct orientation for this particular tool for the mounting. I'll accept that. And I'm going to go ahead and change this to mount just for uh, the purposes of the import. The next thing I need to do is create a coordinate system on the endpoint or where the tool is going to mount to in this part. So I'll start here start a new sketch and really the only thing I need is the um, convert entity on the origin and just have a point there so with that point selected I'll go back up here create another coordinate system and I'm going to select my origin as this point and just to make sure I'm going to select this back face as my z-axis normal so these are the correct orientations of the coordinate systems and the origins. And I will rename this to joint. And I'll save this. Next thing I'm going to do is start a new tool library or edit at an existing library. So let's edit an existing tool components library. I'll start and put it in this CAT40 holders library. On uh, this area over here, I'm going to click on the Import Tool Assembly from CAD. I'll get this message here to just make sure that the model you're going to import is in the active SOLIDWORKS window. I'll click OK here. I'm going to generate this as a milling tool. And I'm going to change this. Right click here, change to a holder. The other thing I want to do is right click again and set reference coordinate to the mount coordinate system. Click OK. Come over here and expand this. Bring this into the adapters and holders folder. Uh, show the tool. The next thing I want to do is go to the connection. If I don't have a joint already assigned in here, I'll delete this one. So I just right click add static joint and then all I want to do is calculate cord sys master coordinate system is will be the mount the slave coordinate system will be joint click apply and OK and the joint is now on the end of the in the center of where the end mill snaps to when you add an end mill to this holder